that was lovely. I've probably had one of the longest showers I think I've ever had on chugs. Um, I'm going to be topping the water up today as we've got some real bad weather coming in from Wednesday. Today's Monday. It's the 8th of March. So obviously I have got time to do it. I've got time to do it tomorrow. But apparently rain's coming in tomorrow and severe winds. Weather warnings for Wednesday, Thursday. Indeed, uh, winds up to 58 mile an hour. Um, so quite severe, really. No problem, we'll be safe. I just hope all my friends out on the cut that are on pins, <laughs> literally on pins, uh, stay safe. Stay safe and perhaps put extra pins in and just be careful. Yeah, ironically, uh, I live on a boat. I'm surrounded by water and moisture, but it's every boater's nightmare in the boat. So when I've had a shower, uh, I like to squeegee the shower out, make sure as much water is gone out of the shower. I open the windows and of course I've got my extractor fan in the ceiling, but I've turned that off now just to save electric. I've got the windows open just to get the moisture out and let a breeze blow through the boat. That's it, I've just got to get dressed now. I've got myself all ready, brushed my teeth, done my hair. Just need to get dressed, we'll go and see the boys and uh, see what they're up to this morning. Morning, chipster! <laughs> Hello, my little man. Did you get too hot in bed? Have you got out? Ooh, I have. You beautiful boy. Oh, he's beautiful. Hello. And you know it, don't you? Yes, you do. Where's your brother? Where's your brother? Shall we go and find him? Luckily, he doesn't take much looking for, does he, in the morning, Chip? No, I know, I know. Where is he? There he is. Oh, he's lying on his side. I'm not going to disturb him. Oh, he's gorgeous. <laughs> I'm all dressed. Let me get the leads. Get them harnessed up and get them out there. I can actually see a couple of drops of rain on my bedroom porthole window. And that wasn't forecast today. So uh, I'll get these blinds open, get them harnessed up. Oh, they've both gone in bed now. <laughs> get them harnessed up and get them out there. But it doesn't look too bad. It actually looks quite bright out there. There's definitely rain on my window. Have a look, it looks lovely. Look at that. It's not a breeze out there this morning. So it does look lovely. Yeah. Yeah, looks nice. But there's definitely water on that window. So, uh, yeah, there's definitely rain on that window. <laughs> what a breeze this morning. You can see all my bubbles floating on the water from the shower. I did go a little bit over the top this morning. <laughs> Had a good old uh, scrub this morning. Come on, boys. It was lovely, because uh, I know I'm topping the water up, and it doesn't matter, so it's good. Uh, yeah, things will be a little bit different when I get out on the cut. I have to be very frugal with the water. Come on, Chip. Very frugal with the water. And uh, yes, of course, we have showers, and of course now it'll be easier, because CRT, have, uh, well, when we go out, will be would have lifted the cruising restrictions. So quite legally, I can come in and top up with water. Um, could even cruise down to Crystalton, top up with water. There's, there's different options, but even if I have to come in once a week and have a cruise, it's a good reason to, uh, to move the boat anyway, isn't it? So I'm certainly not going to go dirty, put it that way. It's just starting to rain. Give them, they've both been to the toilet now, so I can turn round, but I do like to stretch their legs. Yes, every day, every every morning I get the reminder of how quick life can change for people. I have to walk past a particular boat and past a particular car that basically have been abandoned. Um, there used to be an elderly chap live on his boat. Wonderful chap, would help you, would do anything for you. And he was successful, he used to have his own business and everything at one time before he retired to the boat life. Uh, yeah, very talented, very nice man, but unfortunately now, well, it was last year, last time I saw him, he was getting in an ambulance and getting taken away. And it turns out his health has really took a turn for the worse, bless him. Life can be cruel to the nicest of people. It's usually the horrible ones that sort of just cruise through life hurting people. Uh, and the nice ones get damaged. But uh, he's a lovely chap and... Just a reminder 
um, of how life can change for people. I know his son, or I believe his son, is keeping the boat on because he knows how much his dad loves that boat. So, what an honourable lad, fair dues. <laughs> but I suppose there must, there's got to come a time, I suppose. Grasp life every day when you can. Come on. <laughs> I think if all this lockdown and 12 months of imprisonment, basically, I think it's taught us one thing, that when we're able to live, live and enjoy your life. I fully intend to, what I can, or as I can. Um, yeah, I'm restricted for now, but I'll soon be free. Free to fly again. Yeah, when I come in from my walk, I do like to give the boys a little treat. Look at them waiting for it. They know they're getting a treat. And they've started selling these again in the boathouse. They're only a pound and they adore these. So it's nice. It's nice to get them as much of a variety as a treat, I think. Um, they're beautiful. They're part of my life. So it's nice to spoil them. Love them. Yes, last night, you'll recall, I was on a bit of a downer. Woke up very positive this morning. Had a couple of nice messages, which is nice to start the day. Um, but yeah, the dogs, they give you comfort. Um, they were sat on my knee. Dale was wrapped in my cardigan, as he always is, every night. Chip comes along for a time, sits on my knee. Um, and they do offer comfort, and they are company. I don't know what I'd do without them, quite frankly. So tomorrow could be a busy day. We're going shopping tomorrow, uh, preparing for this these high winds that are coming in on Wednesday, Thursday. It's no big deal. I'm not over dramatising it. It's just strong winds, and I'm moored in a marina, so I'm pretty safe. So uh, it's okay. Just loosen the lines a little bit. Uh, yeah, make sure there's nothing loose on the roof, and that's it really. I know I've shown you before, but look how thick that bacon is. It is literally like gammon. And I do apologise to any vegetarians watching. I had a loaf there that was past its best, but it wasn't off or anything, so I won't waste it, so I've put it in the water. There's no ducks or anything coming for it, but the fish or some sort of birds will get some use out of it. I just hate to see it going to waste. If you can feed the birdies, why not? I love bacon. Always brings back memories of camping trips away and... Um, used to, we used to have a Volkswagen, uh, Gert, her name was, and we used to have, oh, lovely times. Yeah, just brings back memories. Nice memories. Well, it's not going to waste. Not going to waste at all. Nice to see people working. Well, I noticed John's doing all the work, though. I'm providing the tea. You're getting well supervised, aren't you, John? Oh, definitely. <laughs> and uh, I think Ian's hard at it in the boat here, doing some work. Or well, he was. He's probably sitting on his bum in there now. I can't see. I can't see him. Never mind. Come on, you two. Perhaps he's having a tea break. Yeah. Uh, well, Dale's been. Chip hasn't. He's got till we get back. <laughs> But uh, definitely getting cooler, definitely getting cooler. Oh. Getting ready for this storm. Everyone's talking about it on the marina. It'll probably come to nothing. But the breeze is getting up a little bit. Flags started to fly a bit. Yeah, I'm just getting ready for the winds that we've got coming in, so... I'm going to get the life buoy off the roof. I'm going to put that in the well deck. Uh, I've got my wheelbarrow wheels for obviously mooring up the shroppy shelf. I'm going to put them in and I'm going to, well, they call it cheesing the line. I'm going to cheese <laughs> my centre line. In other words, I'm just going to coil it up so my centre line isn't all open because the wind gets under that rope and it rattles through the night. So, uh, I'm going to get that done. Right. The ringing.
these wheels are very heavy but if the wind was to get under them they do tend to blow Ooh, wasn't expecting that a load of water come out of the wheelbarrow wheels so right let me coil this up so as it doesn't keep me up through the night so that's it i've done that unfortunately by moving the rope you can see all the mud on my roof so it does need a good scrub so weather permitting I'll get that done tomorrow. I've done all I can really on the outside. The only thing I've got to do now is uh, shopping, which I'm getting tomorrow morning. Uh, yeah, we're going shopping tomorrow morning, so fill up the stocks, the stores, <laughs> and we're good to go. Yeah. Well, it looks a lovely afternoon. I've just had half an hour granddad nap. So I've decided to take the boys on another little trot, and Ian's coming to join me. Nice bit of fresh air before I cook my curry. To be honest with you, I've been a little bit of a lazy old toad. Um, sorry, I'm just looking if I've got any more poo bags because I know I'm running short. I'll have to get some out of my other coat. I told you I had a new coat. <laughs> I'm only joking. Um, I'm sure I've got some on the side here in my bedroom. Uh, yeah, so I've been a bit of a lazy old toad, really. Uh, lying there, I can see the sun's out, so... Uh, it's a shame. It's going to be colder, but let's go and get some. Let's go and get some vitamin D, because I don't think we're going to get some for the rest of the week. Oh, someone's cooking something nice out here. Blimey, they're solar panels. <laughs> Someone's obviously adjusted those solar panels. I've never seen uh, seen those before. They're enormous. Look at that. What a... Looks very threatening at the end of the jetty there, doesn't it? You wouldn't have thought we'd had walruses in Tatnall Marina, would you? Oh no, it's Ian, hi Ian. Lovely late afternoon sunshine, having a nice walk with Ian. We've got lovely coats on, have you seen our coats? The original and the best. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's lovely. Um, Ian was just about, well, he, I think he's peeled his spuds. He was going to put his spuds on for his tea. And I messaged him, did he fancy a walk? And uh, you get a bit stale stuck in the boat, so it's nice to have a bit of a trot now before tea. Um, but it, it's definitely getting cooler. <laughs> definitely getting cooler. But it's nice to see the sun. <coughs> I'm back on chugs. I would show you, but it would be a bit embarrassing how empty my fridge is. There was a packet of Rolos, <laughs> and I've got a, a little bit of salad cream, and I found, uh, well I can make a whole onion, I've got two halves of onion. So I've got some lovely lamb there that Chris kindly gave me yesterday. Uh, and there's a fair old amount, so I'm going to throw that just in some curry sauce with some nice chunks of onion, and that's it. Such a simple tea. Um, I'm not really hungry. I was going to put some uh, some potatoes in it as well, but I think that would be a little bit too much. I might do. We'll see how it goes. Well, I've just cut the onions up. Um, just going to keep it simple. I'm going to put. I've decided. I'm just going to put half a tin of like the new potatoes in it. I'm just going to fry up these onions now. I'm just breaking the onions up in the frying pan. Well, in my little new wok. Uh, breaking them up just to fry the onions down a bit first just mix the sauce and make that with a few new potatoes and the lamb at least it's uh, a little bit of goodness off the meat and the onion so that'll do simple tea for me I did uh, I did phone Ian actually because it might be a little bit too much for me but he's uh, just thrown his in the oven because he's got stuff that's going to be going off as well so he has to use it um but we're, going, we're both going shopping tomorrow, so looking forward to getting some stuff for when we go out at the end of the month. Uh, some non-perishables, some tins and some stuff that won't go off. Um, we're both desperate to go shopping, so uh, yeah, get stocked up tomorrow. Yeah, if I'd have had some mushrooms, I would have put mushrooms in, but I haven't, so you've got to make the boast of 
what you've got. I'm certainly not wasting them. Definitely not. They're fried down enough now. Right, let's get some water boiling in there just so I can mix the curry sauce. Don't need a lot. Which is just as well, because I haven't got a lot. <laughs> now I know the amount of people that have said, don't use a metal whisk, you'll scratch your wok. I am fully aware of it, folks, but unfortunately I haven't got a plastic one. But I'm going to go and order one. Definitely going to go and order one. I don't want to ruin my wok, but I am going very lightly with it. Let's cook that down. I've only got these granules until I go shopping tomorrow, but I am going to get some more. So as I can cook up a curry for, uh, for Ian and I when we get out on the cut. I'll turn the gas right down low now. That's lovely. I'm just going to add the onions back in. That looks about right, to be honest. I don't think I'll need any more than that. Just add the onions. And now I'll get the lamb that uh, was donated to me very nicely by Chris Bless. And I've just had a look at it. It's all lean, beautiful lean ham. So let me just uh, put that in. And half a tin of new potatoes I could add to that quite nicely, which I've got in the cupboard. But quite frankly, it would be a waste. I have actually got some uh, microwave uh, rice, some mushroom rice there that I could do, but I'm not really hungry. And those people that watch me know I'm not a big eater. Just let that cook through a little bit. And that's going to be my tea, folks. I've got that on the lowest of heats. And yes, I have kept a little bit of lamb for the boys, not too much. It's a bit rich lamb, isn't it, for their little bellies. But uh, I've got two little pieces I'm going to cut up. They can have a little bit tonight and a little bit uh, for breakfast tomorrow. So that's going to be my tea. I'm just cooking it down a little bit on a very, very, very low heat. Um, just to let the onions cook a little bit more. I'll then turn it off as it will carry on cooking. Uh, I'll turn it off and leave it for about 10 minutes or so. And it will cook itself and then reheat it when I'm ready for it. So that'll be a lovely tea. Thanks for the lamb, Chris. So I'll just let that cool, as I say, I'll reheat it in about 10, 20 minutes when I'm ready. Just let that lamb cook down and the onions just cook down. Um, and that'll be lovely. It does smell delicious. So that'll be more than enough for me for tea tonight. I'm quite looking forward to it. The boys have just had a little piece of lamb. Look, they know there's some more. But I've just put it in the fridge. And I'm, my fridge is hysterical. It's empty. So it's great opportunity. I'll probably have my tea and uh, clean through my fridge. It's a good opportunity when there's nothing in there, I can give it a good clean. So it'll all be ready to stock up again tomorrow. Uh, mainly tin shopping tomorrow, non-perishables and a few ready meals just to shove in the freezer. Um, I think that's the best option. <sighs> yeah, there we are. I've got me curry. <laughs> just going to eat me tea now, watch a bit of telly and unwind for the evening. Um, it's nearly six o'clock in the evening now, so... Uh, Starting to get dark, starting to get cold out there. So, yeah, tuck myself in. A night of rubbish on the telly, but cosy with the boys. Wow. <clears throat> to say the least, that was the best curry I've ever had on Chugs. That was absolutely amazing. So simple. Sometimes the most simplest things. Oh, oh that, that was beautiful. Thanks, Chris for that lamb <laughs> oh, it was beautiful thanks very much so uh, i'll go and get the washing up done now quickly there's only a plate a knife and fork well a fork a few utensils and uh, my wok and then i can the original series of star trek love it it's on at six o'clock every night on the horror channel up on uh, here in the uk and i do enjoy it so uh, right Let's get this washing up done.